We found a hermit crab living in a piece of a plastic bottle. I went to pick it up, but the crab immediately abandoned his shelter and ran away. Just a day before, I found two beautiful empty shells on the beach, and I was going to take them home with me as souvenirs. But I felt bad that I spooked the poor hermit crab out of his plastic home, so I decided to give him my shells and see what would happen. My shell was quite big for such a small crab, and at first the crab just kept running over them. Maybe he was scared. So we took a step back, and finally the crab made up his mind. He checked to see if the shell was occupied, and then stuck his naked body inside the spacey new luxury home that I gave him. I was excited and happy to help. At first I thought, I'm just going to post the footage as a short on my YouTube channel, but as a curious person, I wanted to find an answer as to why the crab was actually living in a piece of a plastic bottle. Is it just because it couldn't find a good shell as a sufficient home? I was shocked when I found tons of images on Google showing hermit crabs living in garbage. We had a lot of large hermit crabs living around the place where we stayed in Antigua, and I should confess I am guilty of feeding them. So while they're eating, fighting, and stealing the chicken skin I gave them, I'm going to tell you something you need to know. Besides the huge impact on land hermit crab populations due to loss of habitat and deforestation, another concerning problem is plastic pollution. Plastic kills enormous amounts of hermit crabs annually. And you're probably going to ask, why? That was my first reaction too. If crabs can't find a good shelter, why not just use all the garbage laying around? It's recycling, isn't it? But I was wrong. And here's what I found. Caribbean islands, including Antigua, as well as many other places around the world, are littered with millions of pieces of plastic material. The hermit crab study found that piles of pollution on beaches create both physical barriers and deadly traps for crabs. Researchers were shocked by how many open plastic containers contain hermit crabs, both dead and alive. It was inevitable, of course, that wildlife will interact with and be affected by plastic pollution. The problem is hiding within the mechanism of hermit crab communication. When one crab dies, it emits a chemical signal that basically says, there's a shell available. This then attracts more crabs who fall into the containers and die, who then send out more signals that say, there are more shells available. That sounds like a crazy horror movie, right? Another problem is that hermit crabs are physically drawn to a chemical additive commonly found in plastic products, in much of the same way that they're drawn to the scent of food according to a new study out of the University of Hull in England. Oleamide is a chemical commonly added to plastic to make it more malleable. Researchers suspect the crabs are tricked into thinking the plastic is food because oleamide is similar in composition to oleic acid, a chemical released by arthropods during decomposition. And hermit crabs are scavengers and they're attracted to the smell of death and decay. Scientists have found piles of plastic debris lodged in the stomachs of various marine creatures, including turtles, whales, and seabirds. So this is definitely a huge problem for wildlife, not just for hermit crabs. It might look cute when the hermit crab has this little bottle cap as a shell, but it's a huge problem that we're facing now. Hermit crabs play a crucial role in the health of tropical environments by aerating and fertilizing soil, dispersing seeds, and removing debris, as well as being a key part in the marine ecosystem. And global scale loss of hermit crabs can have devastating impacts on ecosystems.